Hello and welcome to my video on getting started with Nest.js and Prisma 2. In this video, we'll add Prisma to a new Nest.js application using a REST API. We will not go into GraphQL in this video. There will be links to the blog post and my GitHub code in the description below. Let's get started. Open up your terminal and we'll start off by installing the Nest.js CLI. This will make it super easy for us to bootstrap a new Nest.js application. If you're using npm, go ahead and type in npm install hyphen g at nest.js forward slash CLI. If you're using yarn, like I am, we'll do yarn global add at nest.js forward slash CLI. Now with nest installed, we can go ahead, type in nest new, and then the name of your Nest.js application. For me, my name will be Nest.js hyphen with hyphen Prisma. Now with everything installed, let's go ahead and open our VS code or any text editor you use and see our Nest.js application. Here we are in VS code in our Nest.js application. The main part of the application is in the source folder. You'll see app.module. This is the module that starts up our, or bootstraps our application. This provides the app service and the app service is where we'll write our API routes. To start your development Nest.js server, open up your terminal and in your terminal, type in yarn start dev or npm run start dev and that'll compile in watch mode the Nest.js development server. We can go ahead in our browser and prove that our Nest.js server has started. If we go to localhost 3000, we'll see a hello world. With our development server started, let's go ahead and open a new terminal. Here is where we'll start adding the Prisma client, adding Prisma 2. So start off by adding a uh, yarn add at Prisma client, and we'll also add the Prisma CLI as a development dependency. Now with the CLI added as a development dependency, we can run yarn prisma init and that'll init a new prisma application. And you can see it here in the prisma folder. We have a new schema.prisma. Now let's take this prisma folder, move it into the source folder. So now we have source prisma and that's where our schema.prisma lives. Inside of our schema.prisma, let's add a new model. This new model will be a movie. It has an ID, which is an int, and the default for this int is just a uh, auto incrementing uh, number, auto incrementing ID. Next, we'll have a director. This director will be a string. We'll have a movie name. That movie name will be a string, and we'll have the year in which it was released, and that will be an int. This is how we define models in Prisma. The next thing we need to do is actually add that model into our database. For this example, we will not be using PostgreSQL, uh, just given how hard it is to stand up a PostgreSQL database. Instead, we'll use SQLite, which is just a file on your computer, which we can save to the Prisma folder. In order to tell Prisma to save it to our Prisma folder, we'll write file dev.db. So that's file colon dot forward slash dev dot db. Now we're ready to create and save a migration. To create and save a migration, simply open up your terminal. We'll type in yarn prisma migrate save, hyphen hyphen schema, point that to our schema.prisma path, and then hyphen hyphen experimental, since this is an experimental feature of Prisma migrations. That'll take us to a CLI wizard in which it presents us with options. Do we want to create a new SQLite database? Of course. The name of the migration is completely optional. I usually just press enter. And now we have a new database migration living in the migrations folder of Prisma. The next thing we want to do is actually execute that migration to add that movie model to our database. To do that, it's roughly the same. Um, but instead of migrate save, we'll do migrate up. So it's yarn prisma migrate I, up hyphen hyphen schema path to your schema dot prisma hyphen hyphen experimental. Press enter and that'll add the movie table to your SQLite database. 
the last thing we need to do with Prisma here in a CLI is to generate that schema in our Prisma client. That way Prisma gives us the CRUD operations we need to create, read, update, and delete movies. To do that, we'll write yarn Prisma generate, hyphen hyphen schema, and then the path to the schema. To get started, let's create or generate a Prisma module. And let's also uh, create or generate a Prisma service. So this command here generates a Prisma module and a Prisma service. That Prisma module and Prisma service will go into our Prisma folder. So now our Prisma folder has the Prisma module and that module provides the Prisma service. Now it's this Prisma service here that we want to extend and use as our Prisma client. So at the top, let's actually import our Prisma client and then uh, our Prisma service will actually be an extension of that Prisma client. And then finally, let's go into our Prisma model and we need to export out the Prisma service. With that, we are finished with our Prisma model and we want to go ahead and add our movies model and our movies controller. We do that with nest generate module movies and nest generate controller movies. Inside of the movies model that was created, we'll need to import the Prisma service that we uh, just created and we just finished. So uh, make sure to import the Prisma service from uh, prisma.service and write it as an import in the module. The next thing we'll need to do is create a movies data transfer object. Now what a data transfer object is, is a representation of the incoming or outgoing movie object that is exposed to the web. Now our uh, movie deto or data transfer object will be a class and we can actually go ahead into our schema.prisma copy these attributes here and insert them into our movie deto so this will be written in typescript so your release will be a number the id will also be a number the director and movie name will remain as strings now all that is left to do is create the movies controller and this will be the API routes exposed to the web. Let's start off by injecting our Prisma service. So in the constructor, uh, we have a private read-only Prisma service, which is of type Prisma service. And don't forget to import the Prisma service uh, from the correct folder. Let's start off by writing a, uh, a get route and we'll, we'll call that method find all. That'll return a promise of movie deto and we'll actually need to import the movie deto. Let's actually make an array of movie detos and return this dot prisma service dot movie find many. And that'll return all of the movies in our database. Now to test this, we'll also need a post route. So let's uh, create a post route down here. The function name will be create. The way we grab variables from the nest.js body is uh, using this body decorator, uh, director, movie name, and the year released will all be passed in through the body. And that'll be a type of uh, movie detail there. And this we'll return a promise of movie detail. Now what we do is we turn a uh, this.prismaservice.movie.create its data will be the director, movie name, and year released. Now we're ready to test out and see if our movies controller actually works. Let's go back to our Nest.js development server and you'll see, of course, I broke something. Here we see if Prisma service is exported as a module is that module imported within mo movies module, which means we have to import the entire Prisma module. Let's go back to our movies module here. Instead of importing the Prisma service, let's import the entire Prisma module and we could delete the Prisma service import. We'll save, go back to our Nest.js development server and everything is running just fine. 
To test out the requests, I'm going to use Insomnia. You can use Postman to also test out the requests and make sure that your application is working. The first thing I want to do is add a movie to our database. So we'll call localhost 3000 when we'll make a post request. We'll be adding Jason in the body. And here we want a director. This director could be George Lucas, for instance. We want a movie name. That movie name can be Star Wars. And we also want a year release. And that year release can be 1978. Don't shoot me if that's not really when Star Wars was released. Let's make a call to that uh, endpoint. We'll see that forward slash is not the endpoint we want. We want forward slash movies. And there it is. We added George Luca by mistake and a movie name of Star Wars. But that's added to our database and we can prove that by uh, making a get request forward slash movies. And we'll see a list with George Luca creating Star Wars. Now let's add another one more uh, movie just to be sure. So we'll say Quentin Tarantino, I hope that's how you spell it, with Pulp Fiction. That was released, I don't know, maybe 1996, or let's, I'm guessing five. Uh, let's make a post request there. So that is the response that we expect from uh, our post requests. Let's make a get request for forward slash movies. And now we see two movies with George Luca and Quentin Tarantino in our database all powered by Prisma. Nicely done. We are all done. We created a Nest.js application using the REST API using Prisma as an ORM. If you like this video, please support me. Follow me on Twitter. Click the subscribe button below. Click the like button below. Click the notification bell below. Subscribe to me on Twitter on dev.2, etc, etc. Thanks a lot for watching.